this is a review finally of Pro Gear Mini Sailor by Bungo Box, uh, their special 10th anniversary edition called uh, Mikan, uh, Mikabi, Mikan, I think Mikan means Mandarin Orange, so Mikabi Mandarin Orange, which is a special product from the district Mikabi in Hamamatsu City, which is the home to Bungo Box. Um, so as you can see, pardon my dry hand, there is the beautiful cherry, um, orange blossom on the nib. And there's this very fine sparkle in the body, which gives the body a sense of more translucency than it really is. It also gives that sense of uh, making it look like an orange ice block. That sort of wetness almost. It's a very interesting, certainly a very interesting look aesthetically and with the Urushi Marquee and Raden all in that little finial there, which is white to recall the color of the orange blossom. Um, so we have the orange blossom, the white of the orange blossom's uh, petals, the orange of the orange itself really more like the orange peel but then once you take account of the glimmer there it feels a little bit more translucent so it feels a little bit more like the flesh of the orange itself you can see the slice of orange there and what I like about uh, Pro Gear Mini is of course true here as well as in this one here, which is this is essentially a full size pro gear. As far as my hand is concerned, it feels that, and that's what's important. Now, in terms of dimensions, centimeters, and millimeters, what's important for me in terms of usability is that it feels like a full pro gear that is convertible to a much shorter pen, like so. Now, a lot of other smaller, quote-unquote, when I say quote-unquote, it's because smaller, what do you mean? This is simply shorter, and then you have the um, slim version, which is called Sapporo, I think, officially, but we know this in the English-speaking uh, language world as the Pro Gear Slim, like this one as well. I think the length is only slightly shorter, but the main feature is that this is slimmer. And for me, I can't post these because I don't like forcing this. I don't like to push this together strong enough to secure the cap on the body. Uh, the last time I gently, gently do this, I lost the cap while I was writing. But also because of the length, it's just far too long for me. Um, so let's 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 do this. Um, I just don't cap these ones because I don't want to harm, I don't want to create long-term stress fracture around the cap, and I don't want to scratch the body as well. But also the fact that the grip is slimmer, as you can see there, and uh, slimmer grips actually make it harder on my hand. I'll discuss that further in a separate video. So it's just a fraction longer, a fraction longer when um, the slim is capped. And being longer on the back is actually not good for me because my hand is pretty small. But the palm of my hand is a lot wider in relation to the shorts of my fingers. And so this becomes the ideal smaller pen for me because of the girth is about the same as a standard pro gear, if not the same. And this is way too slim, but I'll talk about the slim in relation to the mini in a separate video. Now I'll try and put a link up there and at the end of this video, if the video is up already. So overall, um, not only have I emotionally been attached to this pen because it turned up on the first day of Lunar New Year and the new year of the Water Tiger, uh, 1st of February, 2022. Um, I am also working on the review of this pen on the 15th day of Lunar New Year, the first full moon of Lunar New Year. And it's usually a time where we celebrate Lantern Festival. 
Sadly, I never really grew up with lantern festivals because I grew up in a country where celebrating Lunar New Year was practically illegal between the 70s and the 80s. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't legal until 1997. And by then, after my family's migrated to New Zealand. So the only marking of the 15th day of the new Lunar New Year and the first full moon of the Lunar New Year is usually the day where we have glutinous um, balls in ginger and palm sugar soup and filled in the larger glutinous balls are these sweet sugar and peanut and sugar and sesame seeds crunched up and just thinking about it makes me hungry. And so this pen, although is arguably simply an orange short pen with a white knob and a little bit of um, mother of pearl inlaid there. Like a lot of these pens and like a lot of sailor, it has a lot of emotional value to them. And for me, the fact that the Mandarin orange turn up in February is just automatically associated with Lunar New Year and Lunar New Year is automatically associated with large gatherings of family and friends which we can no longer do until God knows when. Just one more thing before I go. The box is very, very unique. Uh, they've actually put the effort of, I think they've paid the license to Mikabi to be able to reproduce this. And as you could see in some of the photos I will post here, they do look exactly like this. I mean, the logo, not the box. And so you can see how this box is not the kind of box that you throw away. In fact, a lot of collectible things, the boxes are part of your collection. And no, I would not say that buying a fountain pen is simply buying a fountain pen, because if that's the case, we don't really need all that many. Maybe medium, fine, uh, broad, and then maybe um, stub and flex, maybe five, uh, maybe short and longer and shorter. So maybe five times two, five short, five long, so ten. But, you know, beyond that, I think a lot of it has to do with the story, the feel, the aesthetic. It has to do with a lot of other things that has nothing to do with writing. And so the box is part of it. The only downside, though, is that to keep this box and wanting to keep the pen in here, if not in use, which is what I usually do, it is quite hard to keep this closed. So um, I'm not sure how to secure this box other than perhaps putting a string around it, um, which I might have no choice to do in this instance. So that's the only downside is closing this box afterwards is a little bit fiddly, um, but because I could kudos for authenticity because they want to remain authentic the box looks like exactly almost exactly like a replica a mini replica of a box of oranges rather than a box of pen so really um the one thing that i find is a minus is also a plus about the box so other than that that is it for me and i will talk to you later bye